watching Kill 67 Gaming and we are back with another haul. Yes. Um, we've got, well, there's no way to beat around this, a massive amount of PS2 games um, to get through and a couple of other things that we've picked up um, obviously since the last haul that we did. Would you like to go first? Start off with a system that I like a lot. This one is the PlayStation Portable, and this one is International Cricket Captain 3. But I've had a little go of it, it's, uh, it's a bit like football, <coughs> the job is cricket. Um, not very good, if I'm honest. But it was a PSP game that I never had. Next up for the Dreamcast is WWF Attitude, but obviously, as you can see, not in the correct casing. Um, it's got all the inserts in the yeah, manual. Yeah, it's got everything, apart from obviously the Dreamcast case. And obviously, it's just a wrestling game, but as we've came to know, the graphics on the Dreamcast version are the best. Um, what else have we got here? Got one here. This is, I believe, an early PS3 game. This is Genji, Days of the Blade. Um, nice little adventure title there, going through medieval Japan. Um, so that should be fun. Next up for the PlayStation 3 is Army of Two, the 40th day. Now, obviously, on the channel, I have done a Army of Two, well, the original one, playthrough on the channel of the entire thing. So after my current playthrough, um, if you just want, um, if you leave a like down below, I might just do the Army of the Tech 40th day. And we've got one here for the original Xbox. This one is Metal Arms, a glitch in the system. Um, not 100% sure what this is, haven't actually put it in the machine yet, but uh, I'm sure it's going to be great fun. Now, last of all, before we move on to all of these PS2 games, there's another 360 game, and it is Storm Rise. Now, this seems to be a shooter of sorts. But you haven't tried it yet, so you don't know. No. Um, but on the back, we would seen as if there's two sides they can play as. So, yeah. so as we said, we've got a lot of PS2 games to get through, so we'll, we'll start straight away this one is Pro Evolution Soccer 3 I saw with Pierre Luigi Colina on the the box as far as I'm aware it's the only football game that's ever been endorsed by a referee but there you go that's something a bit different I, d I like the, the Pez games so that's good to have next up is X-Men Origins Wolverine now this is going for obviously just Wolverine story this is the, the film tie-in yes as you can see on the back. Um, sure, it'll be fun. Um, we've got one here called My Street. Now, from what we can gather here. From the back. Um, well, I'm putting that in the machine. This is a gloss of many games. It's not unlike. Uh, it says Play that there's systems. says that there's network play on it, so. Although the servers aren't open, it's not unlike PlayStation Home was on the PS3. Uh, but obviously this is the PS2, so it's something that they were obviously working on before the PS3 came along. And now we don't have it at all, so... Well, to follow up on the one I've just showcased, it is X-Men 2 Wolverine's Revenge and another one to go through. Now, I don't, I don't know if I, that I one think is. I remember playing this one on the PC. Um, that was quite a good game. Uh, an adventure game where you have to use all Wolverine's mutant gifts. Um, that's another game that uh, I seem to remember way back when. This one is All Star Baseball. This one is 2003. Yes. Um, baseball game is a baseball game. If you, if you like them, you like them. If you don't, you don't. Next up is Spider-Man, friend or foe. Now, this one is where you go and from the back, obviously it does say, defeat 
I didn't see it, defeat famous villains, turn them into allies. So, it seems as if it might be a bit like Marvel Ultimate Alliance in the sense of well, so building up your team, but obviously this is just a Spider-Man game. There's certainly a Spider-Man game, and there's a lot of good Spider-Man games out there. This one is definitely a good game. Um, it's a kind of sports game. This one is NBA Street. Now, I remember playing a lot of this back in the day. Um, really over the top. It's kind of like an updated NBA Jam, uh, for those who remember that game. Absolutely brilliant. Um, haven't played it since we got this one, so I'll have to get back into it sometime soon. Next up is Biker Mice from Mars, and it looks to be more of a racing, but then in some different ones, a more adventure. So I'm guessing just going through some of the episodes of the series. And another football game. This one is this is football 2005. Um, I actually really loved this football se series, um, and I would love for them to bring it back because it, it was kind of, it kind of sat halfway between FIFA and PES um, and played really well. Uh, obviously, with Sony's money behind it. But we haven't seen one for a long time. Next up is Pro Evolution Soccer 6. There's quite a few football games, there isn't is there? But that's because there's obviously been over the entire amount of consoles. Um, just loads of football games. And also, from what I can see, there is Celtic there on the third one. Well, of course there is. Another sports game, this one is... NBA Live 2003. Um, the NBA Live games, uh, I think I played the first one I played was 97 on the original PlayStation. Um, they're okay for what they are, and although I think as they go on, they get more and more hardcore simulation, which uh, I don't like so much. Now it is up to Dynasty Warriors 2. Now, unlike the original Dynasty Warriors, this is the adventure. This is the, the Mass battle thing, yes. isn't that right? So, which has been obviously working since, I'm guessing, and obviously it sparked the Zelda sort of version. Hyrule Warriors. Yeah. yeah. Where is that? Um, racing game, Ridge Racer 5. Um, what to say, it's a Ridge Racer game, everyone knows what Ridge Racer is. They are brilliant games. Next up is Disney Pixar's Cars Mater National. Now, obviously, another racing game. Yeah, <laughs> but um, this one includes Mike and Sully from Monsters Inc. Apparently, according to the back. So no, that's what it is. Uh, this is another racing game. So, Bike World Championship 07, um, which is exactly what it says on the box, I guess. Next up is. Do we do we Smackdown versus Raw? Um, and it's just actually just called that. Obviously, wrestling games we quite like them and everything. So yeah. We have another FIFA game. This one is FIFA Football Two Thousand and Four. Um, yeah, it's a FIFA game, more of the same. Okay, another one. This is Smackdown versus Raw Two Thousand and Seven. Another one, just in the wrestling franchise. 2006, which is the game that came a year before. Now we have Scooby Doo Night of a Hundred Frights. Now, this one is more or less just like sort of an adventure but a story arc to game. No, I can't remember if we've already got this one. I think we might have. We do, but um, I have don't believe it works. Oh, I've got, I, th I thought we might have it on the Xbox. We do as well. But it's on the PlayStation 2. This is Celtic Club Football. Um, not the best football game in the world, but uh, it's still lots of fun. And uh, as a Celtic fan, you have to have your club's game, don't you? Next up is Soul Calibur 2. Now we have the original one on the Dreamcast, don't we? So, obviously, if you don't know what Soul Calibur is, it is a fighting game and a good one at that. I mean, technically, that's three, isn't it? Because the first one was Soul, Soul, Blade. Soul Blade or Soul Edge or whatever we're calling it. Um, got another sports game from EA. 
this is fight night 2004 actually the fight night games were really good so i'm happy to have this one because there's not that many boxing games about um, and i am a big boxing fan next up is spongebob square pants battle for bikini bottom now if you, any of you have played the spongebob games you know that at times over the top and at other times just sort of going along in a sort of mix of genres at times but either way combine them and you get a good sort of series colorization game a pc game in the middle of all this championship manager four um really like championship manager uh so I don't know if I'll play it that much because obviously I've got more up to date Championship Manager, Football Manager games, but it's nice to have it. Now next up, um, I believe we might have this one on a console, I don't know if it's um, Xbox. I think we've got it on the Xbox. Yes, this is X-Men Next Dimension, now this is the Fighter Next men game, so um, obviously from the back I can well you can read that it says 24 favorite x-men characters including four secret ones just there but um, yeah i'll like my fighting games and this is the washed edition in a great franchise this is sensible soccer 2006 um what it's kind of explain how excited i was when i knew, learned that this one was coming out because i obviously loved sensible world of soccer way back in the 90s I uh, got really excited for this and then really disappointed when I found out how bad it was. Now, we have got Sonic Heroes. Now, obviously if you have played Sonic games, which you should have all played at one point or the other, this is a one just like that, obviously going fast throughout levels and carrying on that same triumph. Another film tie-in game, this one is Hulk, uh, bad film, hopefully a better game, but we'll find out when we play it. Um, next one is The Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction, now this one is more based off the um, original comics and the comics that have proceeded to come out. So this um, is probably going to be a better game. Yeah, it's going to be a better game most likely than Hulk. Um, a game that we played quite recently on the Xbox. Um, got it on the PlayStation 2. This is out of volleyball. Um, yeah, we recently played it on the Generation Challenge. Yes. Uh, had a good time with the game. Um, one of my favourite games of all time, actually. I really love it. Well, um, we have Sonic Unleashed. Now, this is one that we have on the way I believe and this is honestly Sonic when he's normal but then turns into a Sonic Wolf sort of thing in the midnight part and it blends together unexpectedly. And we've got one no, it's a superhero game. This one is Justice League Heroes. Um, now this looks like it might be a Marvel Ultimate Alliance for but DC. DC. Um, we might have a little playthrough that we might might even put that up as a co-op play on the channel, eh? Yes, uh, obviously we haven't done a co-op play in quite a while, but... Well, we Still, if you won that, just leave a like down below. Next up, obviously another wrestling game, this is WWF Smackdown, just bring it. What else can we say apart from that's wrestling? When I got my PlayStation 2 way back in the day, I think that was one of the first games that I ever got. Um, obviously... That was a long time ago before I lost all my games. Um, but nice to have it again. Uh, another superhero game. This is another movie tie in as well. It's uh, X3, the official game. So this is the third X Men film, the, the game of that. So you've got Nightcrawler and Wolverine and Iceman and all those good things. Next up is a platinum hit version of Dead or Alive 2. I believe we have this on something. Else. I believe we'll have it on the PlayStation 2. So. Do we? Oh, well. so it's a second one, but either way, I do like my fighting games and I do quite like the Dead or Alive franchise. Um, we've got another sports game here, quite a lot of them. 
um, when you get bulk lots like this quite often you find a lot of sports games but this one actually isn't bad this one is high heat major league baseball 2003 um, and this is a 3u game um, 3u games notorious for being really bad this one's actually pretty good next up another sports game obviously as you've just said there is quite a lot but this one is fifa football 2003 yeah just football that's yeah, what it is a game that i really love um or actually within probably the last six months or so we got another year's version of this one um but this is afl live 2004 aussie rules football don't know why because i don't watch the sport i don't understand the sport but i love aussie rules games can't explain it next up another one that is obviously by aa it is nhl 2002 obviously ice hockey but it is what it is it's a, just another sport game it certainly is um we also have another sports game here which i think we've already got on the ps2 this is smash court tennis 2 um at the time this was the the best tennis game there was um but as i said i'm sure we've already got it now straight away from the sports games for now anyways we have shadow the hedgehog now this is sort of a but I would say a better version of the Sonic game. Oh, controversial. In my opinion, that is. But um, that's probably because I like Sonic. Like, Sonic is good because he goes fast, but like, Shadow's the more, like, I guess you could say edgy version, but I think Shadow is better. Um, we have another football game. This is football, 2003. Um, as I said before, I love the this football games. I wish they'd continued to make them. I understand with the uh, licensing issues and what have you that it's not an easy thing to do, but now it would seem the final sports game is, it? is here. And it is Total Club Manager 2004. Now obviously just another sports game it is what it is. As much as all these are. It certainly is. And last playstation 2 game and the last um, one for the whole well actually it's not because as i just remember we've got another little little lot of games so we'll do a little edit at the end of this and splice on an extra bit but this is the last ps2 game it is the spongebob squarepants movie um You'll know more about that than me because I haven't seen the film. Uh, yeah, obviously it just goes through the story of obviously the movie and as I said before, no Spongebob games, it blends together with quite a few of the genres. But obviously since it's Spongebob you can't really help but really just have a laugh and a bit of fun playing it. Right, so as I said, we're going to put a little edit in here, uh, cut to us here again uh, and we'll show you the rest of what we've got. And we're back in the room. So, we've got a, another little stack of games. Um, this time not for the PlayStation 2. But for the PlayStation 1. For the PlayStation 1. So, we've got Premier Manager 98. Um, Just another sports Part game. of the actual sports range. This is the, obviously the football management game. Next up is All Stars so Soccer. Um, and this one I remember being actually quite good. But it's, it's another sports game. That is another sports game. But it's not, like a, it's not like a sensible sports game. It's, it's very, very different. We have FIFA 2001. Um, it's a FIFA game. What more can you say? Next up is Actua Soccer 3. This one, I remember this one. It came out because... This had all four um, of the English leagues in it. It's first first one to do it because FIFA at the time only done and and pays for that man are only done the top teams. Um, they had all four leagues on that, so that's what I remember it for. Um, and 
the game that came out before Actress Soccer, well actually two games before Actress Soccer 3, was Actress Soccer Club Edition. This is exactly the same as Actress Soccer 1, which was just international teams, and this is just the clubs. The, well, it's just the English Premier League clubs of the town. Well, next up is This Is Football, the first one. I love for This Is Football. Great series. I know, it's just a another PS1 game, but it is just another sports game as well. But no, this was a brilliant game. Tobol number one. This was uh, beat up by Squaresoft. I absolutely loved it. Great adventure mode on it. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant game. And when we've opened it up, Tekken. it's Tekken 3. Tekken 3 also a very good game, um, but wasn't what I expected to be in the box. Next up does not have a front um, like cover, but it is Jonah Lomu Rugby now. In a sports game. Yeah, well, rugby. I, don't, I don't know if I can ever remember playing this one. Yeah, but, but um, we'll, another we'll see. Game, We'll see if it's any good. Um, no introduction needed. Gran Turismo, the first one on the PS1, and a sticker that proudly says that it's dual shock compatible. Remember when that was a new thing. Next up is PJ297, another golf game and another sports game. What more can you say about it? But it's a PS1 game, nevertheless. It certainly is. And the last for this haul, here we go. This is another football game. Um, I remember this one. This one is absolutely bloody awful. This is one by Elite. It is complete onside soccer. Um, and I wouldn't recommend that anybody get it, apart from it look nice on a shelf. It plays like a pig. But that's it. Yes. That is everything this time. That is it. Okay. All right. Well, we'll obviously continue looking for games. I don't know why we're going to continue looking for games. There's a lot there to get through. But Especially PS2 games. That's it. Right but that'll keep us going for a little yes, while. Um, and no doubt we'll be back at some point in the future, maybe playing some of these games. Um, but that is all for the future. Yes. In the meantime, if you haven't already, give us a like, a share, and a subscribe, and turn the notification bell so you can find out when we upload. And we will see you in the next video.